Well, hey there, everybody. Uh, today, paying some attention to the Kitty Clover signs. Um, if you check the dates on the videos, you may have noticed it's been a while since I've updated the uh, the Kitty Clover. They've been sitting on this trailer. I got them about almost a year ago, and uh, the problem is the height plus the height of this trailer uh, makes them a little too tall to get into the shop. So, um, uh, and I also had to figure out a way to, uh, move them around in the shop when I got them there. Uh, so what I had to do is move the crane outside, and then we'll back this underneath the crane. We may even have to air down the tires a bit to, uh, get it under there, because it's, it's pretty tall. But, uh, once we, uh, hoist them off the trailer, put them on the um, stands, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get them mobile. Alright, and uh, here's the crane outside. And uh, half of my little stand here. This is kind of what I envisioned in my mind a little. Uh, we got some kind of buttresses and some outriggers to keep it from tipping. I never built anything like this before, but um, I just want something to keep it vertical and to kind of distribute the weight a bit. I got the other part uh, sitting over here, so plan is lift the sign up off the trailers, lower it down in, get it resting on the main platform, and then uh, swing that into position and attach it together. So, I don't know, easier said than done, maybe. So we'll give it a shot and see what happens. All right, so, uh, it is still a little too tall. It's like a matter of maybe four or five inches too tall uh, at the very top of the clover. So, I'm airing down the tires a little bit because they are that tall and that might give me what I need. So, uh, we'll see. Well, I did the trick. Just needed a few more inches. We got it. Now let's see if we can get it off the trailer. All right, with the help of my lovely assistant, who uh, prefers to remain anonymous, well, we have removed the kitty clover sign from the trailer. And now it is hanging, suspended, from the crane. Air compressor. Yeah. Quiet there. The uh, bottom's a little uh, rusted out, which is unfortunate. But uh, hopefully it'll uh, hold the weight on the um, stand right there. So we'll get it on there and get in position. All right, off the trailer, on the stand, in the shop. It's actually, I can actually move it around uh, by myself. It's big, probably weighs about, oh, maybe 350, 400 pounds, something like that, if I had to guess. I mean, it's hollow inside, so it's just sheet metal. Maybe it's even less than that, I don't know. But, uh, kind of running out of room in here. You start hanging some of these signs up, right? Stop buying, start fixing? Nah, I'll keep buying them. <laughs> but we still have this other one to do too. So that one we'll wait for another day because uh, I wanted to kind of, you know, proof of concept to get this one uh, functional uh, and set up in, a, in this little, uh, I don't even know what you call it, a caddy, a dolly, uh, I guess, sign dolly. 
but now I can move around my shop, work on it and stuff like that. So, cool. Anyway, uh, that's probably about it for this one. Kitty Clover. It's now retired. It's been outside for, what, 82, 83 years now? I think 80, coming up on 83 years. It deserves a, it deserves a break, so. Come on over to Kitty Clover, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe for future updates on this and other neon signs.